good morning. Bringing you along my garage sale thrifting uh, treasure hunt this morning, June 11th, 2017, Pennsylvania. It's finally a pretty beautiful day out here. The last six Saturdays have been either raining, cloudy, or a combination of both. So it's nice when you can wake up and just, you know, hear the birds chirping happily, uh, not get wet, and uh, not have garage, uh, people that are having garage sales close down, or not even, you know, have their garage sale because it's bad weather. So it should be a good day today, and I'll show you what I find in a moment. All right, approaching the first garage sale of the day in this neighborhood community garage sale. That's what I always recommend you seek out first. There's gonna be neighborhood community yard sales because you can hit a lot of yard sales all at once instead of driving all over town looking for the sales. Uh, so it's just a matter of efficiency. And um, so here we go, I see the sale ahead. I'll give you a quick video shot here. This is a moving sale. So most likely going to be a good little sale here. I'll show you what I find. My favorite kind of sale right here. Lots of people, lots of vendors all together. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see what kind of goods there are here. So I've definitely been killing it today so far. I've actually been buying a lot of stuff for myself and for my family. Everything from shoes that are, you know, high quality shoes to a little tent sort of thing for the beach. You know, and that's the beautiful thing about garage sales is you know, you don't, you don't just go there, obviously, to flip things for profit like I do and make some money on it, but also you just get such, such great deals on things for your home. So uh, even if you're not into the reselling thing, heck, uh, just go for the sake of finding great deals for yourself. So I came across a unadvertised community yard sale, and that's where I am right now. Pretty cool. Whenever you can find something unadvertised, that's when you know you're gonna find some good deals uh, because there's not gonna be as much traffic. And uh, so I'm gonna check it out, let you know what I find. Okay, so back home after a day of garage selling, it was uh, really uh, decent. And then at the very end, as I mentioned in the clip before, I found a community sale that was unadvertised. So a lot less traffic, a lot more fines for me to, to get. So, um, yeah, it ended up being just a great day. Um, got a lot of shoes for my son who needed size eight shoes. He was uh, in desperate need of those. I got a gift for my nephew. Um, I got like a tent sort of thing for the beach. We're going to the beach in a few weeks. So. You know, a lot of garage selling really is about getting stuff that you need for the house in addition to things you can resell. Um, I'm going to show you a few things that I got at the garage sales and how much I paid for them and how much I expect to get for them on, on either eBay or Amazon, just to give you an idea of uh, what you can find. So here we go. Okay, so here are my finds for today. Kind of a lot of varied stuff here, but all the way here on the left, this is a... Uh, a pair of spider snowboarding pants. Uh, these are expensive. I mean, if you look at new prices for these, they can go anywhere from 150 to upwards of $400. And this one has, you know, a few stains on it and whatnot. So I'm going to try to stain treat that. I paid a dollar for it. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm going to shoot for probably 80 to 100 for those. Uh, this pair of boots right here is a famous boot company called Fry. If you ever see this brand, definitely get it. Fry, you see that? Um, very expensive boots, and 
I paid, I think, 12 for those, a little more than I would have normally paid, but I should be able to get 75 or so for those brown cowboy boots. Now, these are some weird, funky girls, kind of goth-looking shoes, platform shoes, a brand called Sonex. They're made in Spain. They're all leather. And uh, I just looked them up really quickly on my phone when I was at the garage sale, thinking, huh, usually weird sales. And sure enough, um, these will probably go for $75 to $100, even though they're used. Um, so <laughs> I was learning new stuff here. Uh, let's see. An Orvis uh, Goose Down Winter Jacket for women. This thing will probably go for anywhere from $50 to $75. Orvis is a very expensive, actually a fishing brand and more of a men's brand, but anytime I can find anything that has goose down in it, uh, I know it's going to be very expensive. I mean, I can guarantee you this thing went for a couple hundred dollars when it was new. Uh, lacrosse helmets do very well. Uh, I should be able to get uh, probably 80 to to $100 for this one. It's, it's in very nice condition. Uh, Again, Cascade brand lacrosse helmets. I paid like $2 for that. For this jacket, by the way, I paid $2. And for these pair of shoes, <laughs> these weird ones, I paid a dollar. So again, just, just a lot of great rate of return on items you find in garage sales. This is just a simple polo hat. It says polo on the back. Bought this for $5. Should have a resale of about $35 or $40 even. Just for a simple hat like that. Polo always does well. This is for my nephew. Uh, this is a couple board games. Board games always do well when you resell them. Especially if they're brand new in the package like these are. Um, this one, I actually bought it for $3. I negotiated like I always do. And that should sell for about $30 on Amazon and this Monopoly special collector's edition game brand new sealed they were asking twenty dollars for it <laughs> I asked if they would accept ten and they said yes and I should be able to get about seventy five dollars for that thing um, on Amazon so there you go uh, oh actually there's one more thing this beautiful uh, form for putting clothes on when I uh, you know, take pictures of clothing to sell on eBay. I mean, these things are expensive. This is, looks like it's wrought iron. Um, probably 150 to 200 dollars new. Bought this for five dollars. I was pretty excited. Um, because I have a mail form over there, but uh, you know, these are the ones that that you really want. It just makes it much easier to to display clothing. I may even sell it since it goes for so much, but um. Again, just a little, a little of everything here, and uh, hope you enjoy the video, and watch me or follow me on YouTube. I'll come up with more videos like this in the future. Bye-bye.